We first organized around this idea around access and lack thereof in our broad economic landscape. How do we enhance access um, in a local sense um, to induce a regional economic platform that's broad and allows everybody to thrive and continues to invest in future generations. This really stark imbalance in terms of our rising housing costs and it's really centered around not just prices and how we can access price, but how we're building and um, our building and how we're holding our local communities accountable for our local housing stock how we've limited access to open space in urban communities, and how we've really limited funding on a recreational space in underserved communities. When we think about uh, disadvantaged communities, um, I don't like to think of the Southeast Los Angeles as a disadvantaged community, but the reality is a reality. So throughout the presentation, you'll hear references to the Southeast Los Angeles, specifically looking at the city of Huntington Park. Uh, Henry Huntington ran his rent line Believe it or not, into 2028, we might actually have another red line running through Huntington Park. So you have a working class community, the median age is 30, uh, but more strikingly, the under 18 population is 29.45%. So that means that education is very, very important. When we're contemplating the quality of life in our region, we would be remiss to not talk about where we lay our heads, where we raise our families. In our region, we're suffering from a housing crisis. If you consider housing costs in our region, LA County would be 26% in poverty. So let's look at Huntington Park and think about the opportunities that the city will have. Our group consensus was that we wanted a community, like communities all over the region of Los Angeles to have the freedom of choice. The freedom of choice to use LA um, for its uniqueness, and that would be the coastline. We believe that if we can teach kids to swim, that we're going to give them a life skill that's gonna go far beyond the classroom. The conversation we've had has been about choices, right? Choices in education, housing, recreation, right? If we had all the amenities in our communities, we probably wouldn't wanna leave, right? Um, for a community like Huntington Park, sometimes they don't have those choices. But we wanna think about how do we reimagine uh, open spaces in, in the absence of actual funding, land, what have you, right? We mentioned the IFDs, we need to pay for it, and we pay for it through IFDs, focus on housing, education, recreation. It should be a case study for us to consider now, and hopefully if it's successful in 10 years, we're able to apply a region. Mm -hmm.